know for this class. So safety goggles on and let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to look at is something you recognize. It is our beaker, which comes in different sizes. Okay, and basically they are used for um, you can measure out fluids in it. It's not all that accurate, but used for mixing chemicals, heating chemicals, things like that. Um, you also have an Erlenmeyer flask, which tapers at the top, more narrow opening. Uh, also used for measuring out fluids. Again, not as accurate uh, as it could be. It is more accurate than the beaker, but um, also used for mixing and heating uh, fluids. For accuracy, though, we're going to turn to the graduated cylinder, which has multiple lines on it so that you can measure out a more precise volume of fluids. Okay, I know you recognize this. This is our test tube rack, which has our test tubes in it, along with our handy little test tube holder. In case you have a heated test tube, you don't want to pick it up with your hands. Test tubes are basically used mainly for um, qualitative data you know you're kind of checking out what's going on as you're heating or mixing chemicals and you can basically you know look and check it for changes that are qualitative instead of quantitative because there's no lines or marks on there to to get any kind of quantitative data um let's see uh our ring stand that we have right here that you have the clamp okay that will hold a test tube you could put it in here and tighten it up it'll hold the test tube and you can heat the test tube that way you also have a ring here that we can put this which is called wire gauze you put that on top and then you can put your bunsen burner under it which hooks to the gas you light it you have the flame it goes underneath like that and of course this moves up and down okay so you can get it as close to the flame as you need it or as far away from the flame as you need it and you can put your glassware now on top of that gauze which will hold it in place as it heats okay another piece that you can use for heating is this called a uh, clay triangle you put that on there and basically another piece of equipment this is called a crucible with a lid and this little crucible will now fit in that little triangle and then again you can be heating it and um, what the crucible does is you can heat substances to extremely high temperatures in this okay so that's your crucible with your lid um, put this over to the side here's another um, piece of equipment that's kind of like the ring stand you can put your Bunsen burner under it and you can heat again and you put the gauze on top uh, if you need to so you can still measure our heat I'm sorry heat up substances that way all right we have something called an evaporating dish which is this right here it does exactly what it sounds like you put substances in it or solutions um, you can evaporate out the fluids and it leaves a precipitate behind. So let's say maybe you have some salt water. Um, you could heat this and it would evaporate the water and it would leave the salt behind. So that is an evaporating dish. I have a couple of versions of watch glasses here. They are also used for evaporating um, or you can be weighing things. And then this one right here, they look a little different. This one's like a bowl almost. So this is just kind of a curved piece of glass. But you can use this as a lid um, if you have one that's big enough. But like this little beaker right here, you could put it right on top and it serves as like a lid. So a couple purposes for this type of watch glass. Um, wash bottle, fairly easy. You fill it with a fluid. Uh, you could use it to help rinse out like your test tube here. But basically for rinsing things. Okay, and then um, we have our dropping pipette, which basically is just an eyedropper. It is for just measuring out small amounts. Um, sometimes these are called eyedroppers, uh, medicine droppers, but dropping pipette, just for a few drops at a time when you need a little substance. Okay, 
So that is the lab equipment that you need to know for this class.